What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we did a release notes video recently on this and finally it's hitting our Model S. We have that latest Tesla update here as you can see, 2022.24.6. This is one of the more significant updates just for little tweaks that I think has been coming out recently. This actually enables you to finally have the ability to move around that uh, blind spot camera and mute sentry mode. So again, we've talked about the release notes. We'll touch on it in the vehicle again really quick, but I wanna show you how that repositioning of the camera works. Let's go ahead and jump in the vehicle. We'll be right back. So as you guys can see, the update has finished installing, and here are the four main callouts of 2022.24.6. We have Tesla Profiles, which now is actually syncing everything into the cloud. So this is pretty neat actually. This is saying, it allows you to keep your settings and preferences synchronized across all supported vehicles using your Tesla account. And that includes your mirror, seating and steering wheel adjustments, autopilot driving and climate control preferences, and navigation, media and data sharing preferences. That is actually pretty cool as well. So if you have multiple Teslas or you get in another vehicle and you log in, you will have access to all of these settings pre-configured. That is an awesome convenience update. You can set up your Tesla profile from driver profile setting and change your profile picture from the Tesla mobile app. Next on the list is what we talked about, dis disable sentry sounds. To prevent disturbing neighbors, you can now disable the sounds made by sentry mode. Mobile app notifications will still be delivered. To enable this in settings on the touchscreen, tap controls, safety, sentry mode, disable sentry mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick. So controls, safety, sentry mode. We'll go to controls, then safety, and then sentry mode. And as you can see here, actually, I'm not sure why that's off. I like that. We'll have live views allowed. Um, but right above it is disable sentry sounds. So again, definitely a nice little perk if you don't want to have that triggered automatically all the time. I like the noise. I think it'll be a good deterrent. So I'm going to leave that off currently. After that, we have driver profiles, and now this says any navigation, recents, or favorites will now be saved to the active driver profile, which means if you have numerous drivers, they will not see all of your searched locations or favorite locations. Again, a nice little perk. And then also we have auto rear climate controls. So with this, it reads rear climate controls can now be set to auto. Tap on the climate icon, auto on the rear screen or rear and then auto on the center display climate pop-up. When auto mode is enabled, the fan speed will adjust automatically in order to reach the desired temperature. Again, a nice little convenience tweak as well. If you have passengers in your back seat regularly, you should be able to just turn this on and go to rear and then have it set to auto as you can see there. So I'm gonna turn this off before it blasts and turn the audio on this video off terribly. But one thing that's interesting to note, this is obviously in our refresh model S, we don't have it listed here to change the actual location of the turn indicators. So as you can see, this is not editable. That's very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure why this didn't get it yet. It could still be coming at another time. But for those of you looking forward to it and really waiting on being able to readjust it, it seems like that is just a 3 and Y exclusive um, feature at this moment in time. Again, obviously it could change. I don't see why they would not allow it here uh, on an S or an X. I get it. You have more screen real estate, but still some of those features should still be able to be viewed. Additionally, that's all that was done in the vehicle. So yeah. There's a couple other features that are now gonna be included in the mobile app itself, where you can view PSI temperature, or excuse me, PSI for your tires of the last known pressure, um, and some other mobile app tweaks. But for now, that is it. Make sure to thumbs up this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.